My BFI player plus selection this week is already a modern cult classic, a biting Greek satire which went head to head with beautiful and in a better world at the Oscars foreign language film category and won an uncertain regard award at Cannes, Yorgos Lanthimos's Dogtooth. Set in an isolated family home, cut off from the world like a military compound, Dogtooth finds a controlling father raising his children to believe that beyond their garden fence lies a dark and terrifying abyss. For these kids, fish grow in swimming pools, planes are tiny toys, and cats are man-eaters. But then the outside world penetrates their lonely idyll in the form of VHS tapes of Flashdance, Jaws, and Rocky IV. Really. Ah, an aeroplane. Balancing astute social commentary with pointedly absurd tragedy comedy, Dogtooth has been read as a dissection of Greek society, both personal and political. Yet Lanthimos retains a Lynchian refusal to discuss the meaning of his work. If I wanted to talk about social problems, he said, I'd become a writer, but I'm a filmmaker. It's all I can do. Thus, it's left to critics to note the tinges of Bunuel and Hanukkah in Dogtooth, alongside echoes of the 1973 Mexican movie Castle of Purity, a connection which became the source of some controversy. A huge domestic hit, Dogtooth was followed by Alps and, most recently, Lanthimos's first English-language film, The Lobster, a star-studded affair which balanced absurdist jet-black humour with a hint of Nigel Neal horror. Lanthimos' next film, The Killing of a Sacred Deer, reunites the director with Colin Farrell alongside Nicole Kidman. Clearly, everyone wants to work with Lanthimos. Watch Dogtooth and find out why. Mm -hmm.